We're not normally set up to do peas and canola, so we had to make a separate pass in the drill to get our uh, sulfur laid on. And uh, once we get that out, we got room uh, room in the cart for the peas. So we're seeding pea and canola together? Yes. Research results that are maybe a little bit closer to what we would actually see, actually see on in farm practices. And incorporate all those uniquenesses that those farms have. We need a plant count in order to be able to determine if our seeding rates were accurate enough. And, and in this trial, we're, we're putting nitrogen fertilizer, it's still banded to the peas, but we don't know what effect that is gonna have on the stand, the stand as well. It's measuring the under canopy light and this is measuring the over canopy light. And then there's some calculations to give you the LAI index, which is a number that'll help you know how much uh, the ground is covered by leaves. So these trials were also brought upon by a request of the farmers because they wanted to see results that were not in the 8x2 plots. Um, one of the big arguments for intercropping is standability for peas. Canola and peas together present a bit of a challenge as far as harvest is concerned, but it's not an insurmountable situation. Some of the things around even today with harvest, you know, trying to get uh, get the timing down in terms of when we would harvest a piola versus a pea versus a straight canola. And so, yeah, I think any time we can move these out uh, onto the ag landscape and where we have reasonable uniform uniformity, but we're always going to have a little bit of variability, kind of looking at that uh, whether uh, fertilizer you know, going with a, with a half rate of fertilizer with the piola that helps the canola yield without uh, any expense against the peas. So yeah, I can, we're right here in August right now. <laughs> it seems to be funny to be talking about hurrying up a harvest because we have lots of time. Yeah. However, that's very true. So if we got late and it looked like we weren't going to get it, then the best choice would probably be either to do a pre-harvest desiccation, so use a reg loan or glide to safe mm -hmm. or something like that, and then spray out the canola and peas together. So whenever I'm chatting with farmers who haven't tried intercropping yet, they want more like a one short answer. Would it work, would it not? And I always tell them it depends on the, your area. It depends on your all over best management practices that year. And it also depends on that particular year as yes. well. Yep. So it just is such a plethora of differences of intercropping as we start from north towards center and towards closer to the border. Mm -hmm. That it just seems almost like we're growing different crops when we're not. Mm -hmm. But it's a lot of external factors that come into play when we're doing intercropping.